Hello everybody, welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another video. All right, if you saw the last video, it's that one right there, the purple one. Um, I literally just did that five minutes ago, but you are watching this video a couple of days later. Um, so same idea, same deal as the last video. I'm going to be working on a 14 by 14 inch canvas. I got nothing to show you because that is still super wet, so you'll have to wait for an upcoming video to see that dried. Um, and as I mentioned last time and in every video, I'm going to be in Seattle, Washington, April 27th to the 29th. So if you want to come and take some classes in person with me or some other fabulous artists who are going to be there as well, you can go to www.fluidartexperience.com. All right. Um, base I'm using is Oxide Black by Amsterdam. If you want to know how I mix all my paints with water and Floetrol and the ratios, check out video number 434. I will link it up here at the top. So Oxide Black. I am doing pinks today. Um, Pearl Magenta by Arteza. Then I have Quinacridone Rose Light Opaque by Amsterdam, but that's the Expert series. Then one of my favorites, Pearl Cream by Arteza. Then I have Pearl Pink by Arteza. And then topping it off, I have Prime, no, Permanent Magenta by Windsor and Newton. Those are my colors. Flower Hair Dryer. All right. And I'm going to do the same composition as the purple one because I really like the way that turned out. So I'm going to flood my canvas and I'll be right back. little teeny tiny canvas is flooded let's get going so like I said I'm going to do the same composition because I really like the way that worked out in the last video with the purple so I'm going to do that again just keep in mind it's um actually believe it or not a lot easier to do a blowout on a bigger canvas like I mean bigger canvas you're more I'm sure you're more afraid you know, skeptical or, you know, you just don't want to mess it up. Don't want to waste a lot of paint. I get it. But believe it or not, blowing out on a bigger canvas does make it easier because you have more of a surface to blow your paints out and decide your composition and where it's going to go. When you do a little canvas, you're very limited on where to blow and your bl your blowouts, your blow with your hairdryer has to be like extremely accurate, right? Because you have such a small workspace. So keep that in mind. All right. Colors are down. Let's pop the bubbles. All right, I'm going to try and remember how I did that other blowout, even though it was just like 10 minutes ago, but let's get started.
All right, it's kind of almost the same thing as the other one. I don't like this nib sticking out though. You see that? I don't like it. So I'm going to bring it back like so. Look like a finger sticking out. I love it. I'm not much of a pink fan, um, but I know there's a lot of you out there who love pink, but this, this is pretty. Now let me look at it. Is there anything I wanna fix? These are really close. Both of them are actually pretty close, but I'm hoping they don't move and I'm hoping it stays put because I really like it. I kind of want some negative space here. So I'm wondering if I should, you know, like the way this is here and the way the purple one was. So I think I'm just going to just a little like that. And then I add black like so. Oh, I'm so sick. Like that. I'm gonna come over here. I'm a mess, apologize my messy hair. Here we go, that's better. See, simple little changes, right? Now you've got the little curve in there. I really like that. So that's it, I'm not gonna touch anything else. I'm going to fix my edges and I'm going to bring you guys in for a close up. Be right back. All right, so here is the final piece. I've already taken the stick. I've already scraped the drips. Okay, so don't forget to scrape your drips and then come back two and three times after about 10 minutes. Um, but yeah, so, so far so good. Loving the cells, loving the pink. You got the pearl in there too. So I'm wondering what color I should do next, but loving the pink. Let's check it out with the flash on. All right, so I've got the flash on and there's definitely lots of shimmer in there. Definitely, that's the pearl white or the pearl cream, I mean, sorry. Pearl cream, and then the Artezas in there as well. Very shimmery. It is gonna shimmer a lot when it dries. And there you have it. Um, let me know, as usual. You guys always know I wanna know what you guys think about it. In the comments below, let me know what colors you wanna see next. I think I'm gonna keep going on these little 14 inch canvases and a black base and then just change up the color. So let me know what you guys think. If anyone is interested in this piece, you can purchase it by emailing me at canelasiraco at gmail.com. So there's the pink one and then there's the purple one from the last video. So if you're interested in either, email me. Um, until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good day, have a good night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.